Yeah, man. I mean, you know, y'all know what it is. You know, I not going there and then, you know, I don't know what quit means. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter if I'm it doesn't matter if I get to my shoulder, it doesn't matter if I have two eyes closed, it doesn't matter if, you know, whatever the case may be. If if you think so that could be a possibility where he doesn't want to continue this fight, that's what you want to do, or is it more of a knockout? Or, or how are you approaching this? Fight? Oh, man, I'm just uh, I'm just pushing this fight. So, I mean, I'm focused and, and, and I'm just ready to you know, try to close this gap. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, the first go around, um, young. So I didn't take much serious. You know, said I didn't get the Floyd fight. Um, I just took it for granted, and you know, I mean, it's the type of game that you don't respect, you don't respect you. So, so, you know, it never shows. So, you know, I mean, this time around, yeah, I definitely I've learned a lot the last couple of years. But I'm um, just about my body in general, I make sure I'm healthy, and uh, it's just my focus, man. You know, and, and, you know, I'm here. I'm going to go, this fight to you, Andre. I know you've been waiting for it like yeah. five years in the making, man. I mean, how important is it for you to win this fight? Not just for you, even for your own person. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's big, man. It's big. It's, 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 uh, um, it's a lot of going on. So, um, I think, um, you know, I mean, just like being my first loss and, 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 and again, and just, uh, and just the emotions that I felt then and, and just going through that roller coaster afterwards. Um, I think I just need to use the monkey off my back. And, uh, if you win, would you want a trilogy? Or is it? And I want to try to, um, you know, my plan is to, is to is win in a fashion, so I'll have to. I mean, Berto, so excuse me. That's what happens, you know, when a fighter, you know, see this problem, you know, that, that you're mad and you have a guy, some kid that my kids won't give me the rematch, would you give what she's a rematch, would you give the victory rematch? I mean, like I said, right now, man, my focus is just, it's, it's just to come out with this victory on Saturday night, um, and, you know, I'm just going to be a good you know, you know what I mean, like anything after that, I'm not even thinking about it. It seems like, Berto, if you box, it can be an easy night for you. <laughs> but we all know once Birdo gets hit, <laughs> he throws 10 punch combination and stands in the middle of the ring. Hey, you know, I, I've been working on a lot of different things, man. We've been working on boxing, we've working on punching. Like I said, we've working on a lot of different things overall. Um, you know, so like I said, we, um, you know, we're going to be equipped to do whatever it takes. Do you feel pressure to make this fight exciting? Because the first one got fight of the year. Do you feel you got to put on a, a similar show for the fans? Been I ain't worried about that. I'm a lot of. Uh, I'm a little older now. <laughs> I'm a little older now. Um, you know, a lot smarter. You know, I don't, I don't care if I fight. You know, I'm you know, you know, you know, if I do what I got to do to get the win. You know, so, you know. What do you just say to Luke about yourself? Yes. It's a uh, real sinister. Yeah. yeah. Ready to yeah. really take care of business. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, man. You know, like I said, y'all see me. Y'all never see me look like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all never see me look like this. But, uh, you know, like I said, man, I kind of pretty much locked myself in a cave for the last eight or nine weeks. Um, you know, put everybody to the side, put everything to the side. And, uh, it's been grinding, man. It's been grinding. Uh, I found some of the best spawn partners out. I had three or four different spawn partners I went through. Uh, you know, it's, it's no continues. Young Hungry Contenders. Can you name them? No. <laughs> Young Hungry Contenders. Um, um, and actually, some, it's a former, former Olympians, too. So I wanted to try to get just, you know, some top notch guys. And, uh, and uh, you know, I mean, the ones who the names out there, let you know how small it went, man. Um, you know, these big guys, too. And, and, and like I said, we're getting it in all through camp. It's like we're going to be able to push each other and, you know, make that happen. Speaking of Olympians, what do you think about Earl Spence's uh, performance? A lot of people thought he put you guys 147 on notice, everybody 147. How did you take that, that victory? How did you get his thing, man? You know, like I said, um, Earl Spence is, 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 you know, he's young. He's young, he's hungry. 
he's that young lion coming out the blocks. Yeah, I mean, all of us were like that when we first came out. Like, you know, Maricon, myself, uh, you know, Pacquiao, everybody came out the blocks heavy like that because you got that young, you got that young energy, man. You got that young testosterone, and, and you know, in your mind, you just know that you can destroy any and everybody. And, and you know what I mean, that's where he's at right now. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know, I believe all of us came into the game like that. And all of us, you know, put a lot of people in our division on notice early. You know, we came into the game because we wanted to be known. Yeah. And um, like I said, man, like right now, man, I think I think it's his I think it's his time to make his name, you know, and really what it is. And I think that he's doing a great job doing it. You know, I think he beat uh, you know, Chris Ojuri in fashion. And I mean, yeah, I mean, just like I said, like when I look at it, I just I just see yeah. Yeah, that's that young, that's that young fresh lion type of you know, type of shit. You kind of see yourself in him a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I said, like all of us came out the blocks like that. All of us came out the blocks like that. So, so like I said, right now it's his time. Is he ready for the the big the big guys now? You know, he's talking about Kel Brook, guys like that. Is he ready? Yeah, I'm saying right now, right now. Yeah, I mean, like, why he still has that momentum yet? Yeah, go get it. Go get it, young boy. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> You know what I'm saying like all of us were, you know, all of us were there, and and, and you know, like he hasn't. I don't think he's he hasn't felt the just the other side of his boxing game yet. Everything is just coming fast. Everything good is coming. You know, he's young, he's strong. He's coming and smashing these guys. Everything is just all good. You know, he hasn't felt the other side yet, you know, and I don't know if he's going to feel it right now. Right now he's having fun, so I want him to go and do his thing. Like I said, I enjoy watching. Speaking of the welterweight weight division, who wins? Thurman or oh, One name. Y'all kill him. Can't stop your uppercut. You can't. You can't kill me, man. I mean, you know, Thurman's, you know, Thurman's my main. I grew up with Thurman. I just, I just talked to him a few days ago. Um, um, you know, I really like you know, Porter's pressure and his strength as well. I mean, I think I got to, I got, I think I get upside the tournament, man. Like I said, that's my dude, and I know what he can do. I know, you know, I spent a lot of years sparring with him too, so, you know, I feel that progress from when he was young to now. So I know he can crack. Um, and like I said, like mentally, <clears throat> You know, he's on a certain level right now, so I definitely feel like he just went through it. Once you get past this fight in this chapter, yeah. would you like to fight Kel Brook? Oh yeah, for sure. I believe, you know, right now, like I said, our focus is on, you know, Saturday night. Um, and I think, you know, me and me the top champion to, you know, make a tough fight. I mean, you know, like I said, all my focus is on Saturday night. But, but at the end of the day, like, you know, my focus is on Iowa. You know, my focus is just going to be, uh, just jump back to try to continue and, and, and try, to, uh, try to keep collecting up. You, um, it seemed like a lot of PBC fighters are getting behind the mic. You seem like you'd be perfect for a college commentator. You know, man, they, <laughs> they say I'm natural with this TV thing, man. But, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I see a lot of guys, you know, coming behind them. They're doing the commentating thing, and you know, they, they look a little shaky, but you know. But uh, I don't know, man. I think I'm. I think I'm pretty diverse. You know, that's one thing that uh, you know, me and my man, uh, you know, Andre Ward, we talk about all the time. Um, you know, when this game is over, you know, like we'll be able to, you know, be like versatile and be able to do some other things. You know, and not just doing it into the boxing world. So um, I think the future's bright, whatever it is. Andre, what did you learn from the Mayweather loss? Talk to us about that experience that you'll be taking into the Ortiz life. Oops, he's slick. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, like the end of what I learned about myself is, 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 um, you know, I was able just to handle the whole atmosphere. I was able to handle the whole. The whole circus I came with, you know, I didn't let it shake me, I didn't let it phase me, um, and just even just being in the ring, being there face to face with him, you know, we just basically we went through that training camp, not just physically but mentally preparing ourselves. And, and like I say, just being in there, man, it was like, you know, I'm supposed to be here, let's go. You know what I mean? Like I believe a lot of guys are getting there with me, freeze up and. 
and they end up just, oh my God, I can't believe the man looking down. And they stand there and watch you just walk walk around and bop, 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 walk around. They just, you know, they just look. You know, so I just wanted to make it a point that that each and every ride I was going to be there. I was going to press the, I was going to press the action and I was going to be in the space. Um, you know, so I learned a lot about myself. That, that you know, Victor seems to be all nothing but smiles with the media. Doesn't seem That's too cool. concerned about Andre Bertel. What are your thoughts That's on him. that? That's him. I mean, that's, you know, that's Victor, man. I mean, like I say, I, you, know, you know, everybody knows he's a little weird. But, uh, you know, like I said, man, you know, he needs to be. Um, you know, if he isn't, that's fine. I mean, he probably has another gig, you know, set up after the He's probably got a move to go to. You know, so, you know, that's him. That's his business. You know, me, I'm focused. I'm ready to go. Yeah, the activity level is in your favor. Yeah, for you sure. feel that's going to be one of the key factors? I believe so. I believe, I believe so because, um, you know, like I said, that I believe that he spent you know, some time off. Um, I don't know if he had one or two fights coming back, I'm two not fights. sure. Yeah, yeah. Two fights coming back and you know, I mean the guys who fought twelve, fifteen losses, something like that. So um so, you know, yeah, it's a big show, so it's a big show. And do you feel that we're gonna see the and, best and, big and, 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 and you know, you're not in there you're not gonna be in there you know, with a guy that's you know, thirty six years old or, or with twelve, fifteen losses. You know, you're gonna be in there with a guy that's, <laughs> that everybody knows is gonna come and just bring that heat. You know what I mean? Every round, I'm in shape. They, they're gonna come fast and they're gonna come hard. And, and do you honestly feel we're gonna get the best Victor Ortiz, or do you feel that he's just playing the sure. media? I'm not sure. I don't. I, mean, I don't care. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, I don't care. Um, you know, right now my focus is going to do what I got to do. You know, he comes in at his best. Fine. I mean, that's what I prepare for. I prepare for. The, the Victor Ortiz from five years ago. You know what I'm saying? That's what I prepare for because I know I slack then. I'm not going to get caught slacking that from what the media people are saying or what other people are saying. I can't. I can't do it. And my, my last question how uh, detrimental will another loss be to your career? Ah, uh, man, it'll definitely be, um, it'll definitely be a tough play as far as you know, right now. That's, I mean, that's not what I'm thinking about. Exactly. You know, I'm so focused, man. I'm so dialed in. Um, Okay. Andre, what do you think about um, Adrian Broner calling out Floyd and all that whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that even a, a possibility of a I fight? Mean, what do you think about that? I mean, you know, that's Adrian, man. But then again, you know, two days, two or three days after I see that they made up, um, you know, I put on his Instagram. Like I say, this is, I mean, that's Adrian, man. That's Adrian, I mean. I don't know to say too much about it. I mean, that's my little homie. Um, but, but he's real emotional. He's very emotional because, like I say, he comes from the streets, and, and you know, I mean, they don't play all the media games. You know, you say that you're my guy. You know, we don't want to see you go to the media and talk. You know, the type of way you take it personal. You know what I'm saying? So, so I believe he's real emotional because of that aspect, and you know, that he still needs to understand. That this whole boxing fiasco media thing it can be it can be a game as well. So so he has to just try to prepare himself for it. Bert, um, not to bring it up, but Ortiz brought it up. You know, he said he was steroids free in the, in this fight, and um, you know, he, he touched on your, your little um, accidents uh, or whatnot. But uh, what, what do you take to that? To him bringing that up? Oh, that's good for him, man. I ain't got nothing to say about it. That whole situation, like I say, it came up. Um, you know, something false, and we cleared it up. And I was back in the ring after five months. And we had a, uh, a situation with the field test, and it's a short you know, field test. And we were out mandatory a year. So, so, uh, so I, don't too, I don't got too much to say about that. But like I said, I'm in a dark case on that. And, uh, What's the go ahead, go ahead, Jeff. Oh, I just want to ask you a question, quick question. Earlier, you said that Keith Thurman would be your pick in the fight against Sean Porter, and recently in his media interview, he said he felt a little depressed after the car injury. As somebody who's had a debilitating injury, yeah, 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 yeah. talk a little bit about the mindset that a fighter yeah. goes through with rebuilding himself back up to be competitive. Again. Yeah, man. I mean, it's I know it's a tough situation, man. You know, like when you when you come up and you almost feel you know invincible and. Uh, 
and you know, you know your parents always tell you, ah, okay. You know, you better slow down because, you know, once you get a little older, you know, you ain't trying to hear that. But, um, you know, I was one of those type of guys. You know, I felt just unstoppable at a certain age. You know, I never stretched. I never, you know, ate right. I never did this, never did that. But I was just always just extremely, you know, gifted. And, of course, you know, us doing the sport, um, you know, it was very taxing on the body. And, yeah, after a couple of years, man, shit started tearing, shit started this and that, and I didn't know what was going on. So, you know, so mentally you have to, you, know, you have to build yourself most, most importantly, mentally, even, even while you're going through the process, because it's going to be a tough one. But, uh, but hopefully, like I said, I spoke to him the other day, man, he said he's feeling good, he's feeling strong, so I don't think it's going to affect him. Is Andre Berto a Hall of Famer? I think we got some more to get to it, but, but I think, I think, the Hall of Fame status is 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 all the way around the board. You know, fight game and outside the fight game. And I think um, you know, I'm one of those guys that 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 come in here. And I lay it all on the line, you know, fight wise. And at the same time, you know, I put my sport notice worldwide when it comes to charity aspect and everything else around. Like I'm an ambassador in that area as well so i think you know all the fame aspects is all around so i think i'm getting there speaking of ambassador what what fighter stops your saturday night plans who do you look forward to see fighting now or back now then? just currently now because you go to all the fights i've interviewed you at yeah all the fights, right? yeah, so, yeah 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 Thurman, I love watching Thurman fight. Um, I love watching uh, Danny Jacobs fight. Uh, you know, Broner's exciting. Uh, of course, Mr. Ward, Floyd. Um, I'm a fan, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm a boxing fan at the end of the day. So, so, so you know, you guys bring excitement, man. I'll come check it out. What would the original AB say to the 2016 AB? What would you say to Relax. <laughs> <laughs> relax, man. I, you know, yeah, I tell him relax. Everything that they're saying is true, so relax and, and let it all come to you. Don't chase it. Don't go too crazy. Relax at all coming time. How hard is it to deal with the fame and the, and the, the money and all that? You did it really early. I think you told me you were a millionaire by the time you were 21 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How hard is it to deal with all that stuff, man? Um, I mean, it was amazing. I mean, I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing, but um, but as a fighter, bro, like you know, you have to stay disciplined. You know, this game. You know, this game is is is. You know, just like I said, if you don't respect it, you know, sooner or later it's gonna show you where it's at. It's gonna show you what it's really about. So, um, so you know, I mean, um, it's it's it's. You know, it's been great. You know, I got a chance to, like I say, to, to, to be young and be able to accumulate wealth, you know, for myself and my family. That they don't, you know, my parents don't have to work anymore. You know, if I want to stop fighting today, you know, I'll be good. Um, and, you know, I mean, it's definitely a great thing. It's definitely a beautiful thing. Um, Does it come from more the buck with Chase's power? Do you remember his power at all? How did you rate it? Um, man, you know what? I was just so... I was just so messed up going into the fight. You know, I believe it's, I believe the power was okay, um, but it, but it was nothing I hadn't felt before. But, but like I said, it was, it, you know, I mean, there's so much other issues that went into the fight that just made everything just look so crazy, man. And it was, um, yeah, it was, it was tough. It was bad just going into it. Speaking of power, what's the best punch you've ever landed? Best punch I've ever landed? Yeah, like, you know, you're just like, God, damn. I had a few of them. I had a few of them. Uh, what do you mean, my pro fights? Yeah, pro fights that we would know, that the fans would know. Um, Best punch you've ever landed? I don't you know, they... You mean drop on T's in the first place? Yeah, probably the Ortiz. That was a good point. The Ortiz one was good. Um, the David Estrada one was good. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And, uh, uh, what's his name? Freddie Hernandez. Freddie Hernandez is good. Uh, I forgot his name. Yeah, that uppercut. That was me, too. <laughs> they were talking about that for a while. 
Yeah, when I first won my title, when I hit the dude with the bang and hit the double cat. Yeah, 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 that was yeah, crazy too. Yeah, I got a couple of them. Andre, last okay. question. Do you think Daniel Jacobs would match up against the Um, I think it'd be a great fight, man. Uh, I think probably. Um, I think it'd be a great fight for Danny. Um, you know, maybe a fight or two. I'll probably a fight or two down the line. But I think it'd be a good fight for Danny. But the left thing, you know, he's. You know, something wrong with him, man. He got some problems. You think the hype is real much power? I mean, everybody I talk to, I talk to a lot of guys. <laughs> I talk to a lot of guys that actually been in there with him to spar, and they're like, dude, like, you know, I talk to Rosado too, and. He's like, dude, he literally feel like he has something in his gloves. You know what I mean, even like the small partners, they're like, bro, like we block him, we got the bruises all on the arms the next day. The trainer says that he's not allowed to hit him in the head. Yeah, I'm like, dude, like what is that? That don't make no sense. But I mean, like I said, he's small with bigger guys. He's still hurting them, and I mean, I don't know. I think he's. I, I guess he just got dense bones or something. I don't. I don't know, cause he doesn't have no no muscle for real, but. I don't know. I don't know. There's a young kid named Devin Haney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us your thoughts on that. Yeah, I met little Devin, man. He came over to our gym. You know, he did some work. He beat up one of the little kids over there. Um, you yeah, know, like I said, man, he's pretty good. He, you know, yeah, he's 17, man. Like I said, he got some time to continue to, uh, you know, I can continue to get better. Um, you know, but like I say, man, right now he's just a young whooping snapper. You know, he ready just to. You ready to take on all comers and you know he got that mentality. Yeah, I'm ready to fight anybody now. You know, I heard him in interviews say he'll whoop and he'll whoop Adrian and he'll whoop this part, whoop it. You know, like I said, man, he's he got that he got that young energy about him, man, that he just think he just whoop everybody. So like I said, man, I, I think he's good. He's so engaging. This huh? What was your first purchase? You said you were a millionaire at 21. Yeah. I was a millionaire at 21. Yeah. Well, I had dreams of my first purchase. <laughs> first you know what, man? The thing with me, man, I was, because of coming from where I come from, and, you know, just knowing our situation and how it was, I had money, but I was, like, still nervous to, like, spend it like that. Because as soon as I started getting it, bro, like, you know, I wanted to always have it. You know what I'm saying? I'm still like that now. Like people are like, dude, like, you know, like my business manager, he's on me sometimes. Like, listen, you're know, one of our best clients and you don't, you need some tax write off. You need to start doing it. I'm like, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I'm going to make a big purchase. And I'm like, okay, chill. You know what I'm saying? You're driving a big purchase. Oh, yeah, I got a couple of nice things, but you know, I got a couple of nice things. But yeah, like I said, I always just got that little. A little fear, but I, uh, but I think that's good. I think it's good for me though because, um, you know, I'm gonna always have it. Ah, oh, yeah, Connor's crazy. Yeah, man. he feels like you know, he's not being Yeah, I mean, like I said, he was one of those guys too. Like I say, Connor, man, and, you know, he's one of those guys too that came, I mean, came through the UFC. Young, I mean, young whippersnapper, want to do everything, all the press tours and all the promotion, do this, man, go in there and fight. And, you know, as soon as you lose, okay, you know, things started, you know, things starting to, you know, they starting the process different. You know, he's starting to understand, like, dude, I need to focus on this game. You know? I mean, he's starting to see the other side of the game now. Just like I said before, you know, before you want to do everything, you want to do this, you want to do that, you want to fight everybody, you want to do all the promotion shit, you want to do all the interviews, you want to do this and that. But as soon as something happens, you know, you really start evaluating what the what the real is about it. So could could that be that he might be a little embarrassed because he talked a real big game, but then when, when he showed up, you know, he put up a great fight, but he came up on the short end. So do you think he could be a little embarrassed about that? Um, he just doesn't want to put up with the media and the questions. I uh, yeah to a point, but but at the same time, man, you know, he's the type of guy that he understands. You know what I mean? That's his money right there. You know, that's his money because he's one of. You know what I mean? Like, he knows. You know, the, right, they're still waiting on. Him. Yeah. You know, he's sitting back right now, and you know, he's not showing up for the media. But he knows that they can't wait till they see him again. You know what I'm saying? So he knows what the situation is. So he's just letting him wait out, and you know, he's playing this media game right now, just on Twitter and making 
and making money and making crazy promotion and doing like he's been, he's doing a lot of hype just on Twitter right now. So, so he knows what he's doing. His retiring tweet did more than Kobe's retiring. Of course, of course, man. I mean, like I said, he know what he's doing, man. He know what he's doing. You, you, you face, excuse me, you face Mayweather. Um, a lot of people compare his trash talk to Mayweather. So he's building up a fight. Do, do you compare that at all? You know, from what you've seen. Yeah, I mean, like he knows what he's doing. Like I said, you got to talk him up a little bit. You know, like he. Uh, I believe he took a little bit of that, of course. I think, you know, from guys like that, the guys, you know, like Muhammad Ali, I mean, the guys built their careers off of, you know, off of promotion. And then going in there just, you know, handling their business. So, so I think it's kind of similar. Who's Andre Berto's celebrity crush? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I let me chill. <laughs> if I say this, hey, listen, this one, it might, it might make some headlines. It is, gonna make, it is gonna make headlines. Let me chill for a second. Hey, hey, baby, how you doing? Got my girl at home. I'm so poor. <laughs>